Eh, hey. Neep, 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 neep. Oh, sorry, I needed a reboot there. No? Oh, I'm broken. Here's earthquakes at Alaska making news again, as they always are with the 5.8. Mm, uh, Nikolsky? Alaska sounds very Russian to me. Nikolsky! Yes, uh, Nicole, a, a Russian name, you just put ski on the end of it, and then it's very Russian, I don't know. Over here, I, I already freaked out, man. I, what is this color? I've never seen it before. It turns out this is high wind warning, and this is high wind watch. So apparently, I, well, I did go over here, but apparently it varies from state to state. I looked it up, high wind warning. It's got uh, this criteria for this, the criteria for this warning varies from state to state. So I randomly clicked on some of this. Uh, by the way, that's a red flag warning. That's a fire weather danger situation is what's to the west of it. But that was going to be we click on. There we go. Um, I forget which one I looked at already. But so this one, northwest wind sustained 40 miles with gust to 60. And I think the other one I read was gust in the 50 mile per hour, 50 plus mile per hour range. So... I guess what happens is when it's not related to a severe thunderstorm necessarily, it's just going to be a super, super windy day. And if there is an actual severe thunderstorm, then of course they'll uh, issue a severe thunderstorm warning. The threshold wind-wise for that is like 58 miles per hour. So high wind warnings are about like, well, apparently depending on the state, either sustained pretty high winds or severely gusty winds that aren't convective that's your buzzword is convective means it's like related to a thunderstorm drought picture looks the same pretty much the same well actually you know it seems i should pay more attention seems like the abnormally dry is kind of stretching northward but the exceptional areas are pretty much the same and of course who's going to get the rain it's pretty much the same it's never the places that are in the severe, severest drought is most severe. Severest is probably not a word. 25 locations in flood again. And so we've lost the stuff up there, but Louisiana's got some, and then of course the Missouri River related flooding. We've got a slight risk of severe weather today for guess what? Wind. So, you know, here's the big 15% area. Now, this would be severe thunderstorm related wind probability things and apparently no hail this is gonna be very windy and then down there in like uh, Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama and I, uh, even Florida maybe I don't know I can't re I can't zoom in anyway two percent chance of a tornado and here's tomorrow's outlook where well, it's very confusing because what on earth does any of these lines mean so we go on over to here where is the chance of severe weather five percent up in there in Wisconsin and over here we have something that's probably not going to hit the east coast because it's going the wrong direction probably not going to hit California either but 40% chance of tropical cyclone formation in the eastern Pacific and over here we have bigger news 60% chance of tropical cyclone formation in the western Atlantic no wait that's probably the central Atlantic right or maybe it's even the eastern whatever I don't know and if we go over here, this, it's either this one or where are we? I don't know. There was two of them and basically they said the same. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure which one it is. But so this next thing out there, the 60% chats could end up in the United States. But we've seen a lot of them where, let's go back to a larger map, where it's like they, they start out, they're going, they're going, and then they curve. And they cover and then they don't hit. Which is fantastic, of course, unless you like hurricanes. And then I guess you should go out in your hurricane hunting plane and go track one down. I don't know. Anyway, so if you'd like to keep an eye on the convective-related wind gusts, you should head on over to Wicked Wix. It's W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X-mus.com. Don't spell out the mus, it's just the X, righto.